moving down here in this brush just below me. It could be an animal, but it, it was big. I'm kind of nervous about going any farther. Whatever it was moving down here was snapping branches good. So thick though. moving. Interesting. <sighs> Sounded pretty heavy, whatever it was. Looks like I can maybe get down there. I think I'm getting pretty close to the uh, to the landslide area, though. See, there's a nice open meadow in there. Could have been a deer, for all I know. It takes too long to turn the camera on when you get something like that. This is coming right over here. Whoop! Now, hi, Leo. All I need is a darn cat to be stalking me and not a Bigfoot. Because it is going to be a trial trying to get back uphill or away from a cat. If 
well if I can get on top of this boulder real quick. It's really moving around in there. Great. Okay. I, I, I assume you can hear that on the camera. It's pretty big, so I need to back out of here. Because it's... It's no squirrel, that's for sure. Stay on He's got to be 15 feet away from me. I can't see a thing over there. It, you know, it almost sounds like he's walking right in front of me, but I can't see anything. It's got to be an animal. I'm going to roll it an animal because all the noise I'm making, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be making all that rustling around going in. It sounds like he's something's making a den, and I'll, I'm willing to bet that there's a bear digging a den underneath that boulder just up ahead there. just in front of me down there in the bush. Yeah, it's time to back out of here. It's getting closer and I don't see, I don't see an eight foot gorilla. <laughs> so I have to make my way back down this rock, get back on that hill. Trail. Get back down here. It's in here I have a little bit more room to maneuver if, if he comes down after me. Whoa. Interesting though. <clears throat> oh, 
wait a minute. There is something over there. I just saw an animal. What is that? It's like that little cave there. This was supposed to be just a short gifting jaunt, uh, jaunt not uh, mutual, of Am mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom today, so. <laughs> uh. Park rangers running around down there at the bottom of the ravine. Starting to see some little deer, little deer tracks up in here. So I knew the, I knew the, uh, the game like this open area. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't surprise me if that was a deer that was back over there, whatever that was, rustling around either. Okay, something's been traipsing through here. I'm not going to bother measuring that because I can't really tell. See, everything is covered in these pine needles on this ridge right here. So, it'll make a mess as it comes straight through, but it, I don't have a definitive print there. Looks like I may have a mid tarsal break there and some toes at the top, but it's too hard to, it's too hard to determine. Considerably larger than my hiking boot, though. tree break but snapped good and so. something was chewing at the sap it looks like there a lot of times right that sap that's right there um, elk elk will do that they'll gnaw at the side of the tree like that make a little indentation where they've been eating the sap.
you're so careful. Something's been laying up right here. It's like an elk. See a lot of twigs broke off this tree, but as you can see the sap, the sap's been running off the tree. And then usually, this is one way that I used to, when I used to hunt elk and deer, is I would, I would find them. They usually like to lay up. <clears throat> Where the sap's running down from a tree right there. They like to eat that. Let's see anything that resembles a footprint. Oh, great. I hate when I come to a ledge like this. Because then I have to climb down. Okay, you know what? I think this is where my gifting spot's gonna be. In fact, it's right here in this little open spot. In fact, there's a rock here. We'll test it out. I'll kind of give you an idea how and how I gift and what I gift with. I'm not a real big food gifter. I am sometimes. I've left them steaks and so forth before, but um, you know, it's, I've been working with a, a friend of mine that's a Choctaw medicine woman, and she's not real big on food gifting either. I'm always gonna leave an apple. But I also like to leave a calling card. And I leave this group that's in this park, I always leave Two crow feathers. That just kind of symbolizes that it's for me. I'm the one that left you this. And this is a new thing that I've been doing as I've been leaving them quartz crystals. Little quartz crystals. With the feathers and maybe a pine cone in there. And it just kind of lets them know it's me. But I always leave two crow feathers so that way they know it's for me. Uh, so when I come back, every time they'll get two crow feathers. And I have hundreds of crow feathers that I've saved up over the years. So It's just kind of like my calling card, I guess. Alright, so we're going to try and find a way down off this ridge now. <laughs> 